And he, uh, luckily, is with the South African Minister of International Relations, Lindiwe Sisulu. Over to you, Sherwin. A fatigued journalist and I believe a fatigued international relations minister, Francis. It's been a long week here in New York. The president, of course, returning to South Africa yesterday morning, arriving, arriving uh, this morning, I understand. Uh, but the minister's still in town. And as you correctly point out, uh, a very important bilateral earlier today with the United States Secretary of State, Mike Pompeo. Of course, a lot to unpack. They will both be in the Security Council. Of course, the issue of President Trump's tweet uh, was also discussed. The minister is my guest right now. Uh, Ma'am, good to see you and thank you again for the opportunity. So what was the meeting like? Take us into the room. What did you discuss? Oh, well, we had limited time. I think we had about uh, 30 minutes. We um, ended up taking about 40 minutes and I think he had other commitments to, to attend to. Uh, but it was a very fruitful meeting and uh, we did most of the talking. <laughs> He's not much of a talker, uh, my counterpart. Um, uh, we started off with the normal pleasantries and um, how's the weather and they're warming <laughs> up to each other. And uh, then I indicated to him what uh, my concerns were. My concerns were that uh, there is a perception out there that we have a frosty relationship. And we have a responsibility to show that we do not have a frosty relationship. You called it unfortunate at the beginning of this trip. Uh, I did. I did call that uh, that uh, um, understanding of our relation to be uh, unfortunate because, I, in terms of my relationship with Pompeo, we we are in regular contact. If we're not calling, we're talking through the embassy or uh, uh, writing letters. We were actually meant to to meet each other in South Africa on the sixth of uh, October. But we've postponed it to November now. So okay. we've been in constant uh, uh, consultation and we've been uh, on talking to each other. And he explained that uh, he has no idea where this uh, r uh, idea comes from, but he remains very committed to making sure that we have a very good relationship. And uh, I had to apologize to him for the fact that um, they have written to us, uh, they wrote to us two weeks ago to propose the name of an ambassador. So yeah. we have an ambassador designated to South Africa. The process we um, are required to undergo is uh, that it goes through the president and the president considers the nomination and accepts the nomination or turns the nomination down, whichever um, he might uh, want to, whichever option he might want to take up and we communicate with them. And I believe it, they had hoped that uh, by the time we meet in the General Assembly, we would have had an ambassador so that we could get over the mm -hmm. preliminary awkwardness of not having a representative. So you have slowed down the process is what you're saying? We have slowed down the process because by the time we got the letter, the president who was already getting into the mode of preparing for the General Assembly, so all other official uh, correspondence was put on hold. So did, did the land question come up? I mean, the, the tweet and there was a bit of discomfort over that uh, yes, tweet yes, from it, the president. Yes, what did you yes, say it, to him? Well, I, uh, both of us know what the situation is, so there's no point in going into that because we had extensive discussions with the embassy and uh, the, emb the State Department issued the statement that clarified our position. However, he did say that uh, he thought that uh, we needed to pay attention to explaining our po position on the land issue. So I agreed. We are very eager to do that. The president has been doing that throughout the time that he was here. Uh, and uh, if it pleases the American business person who has uh, interest in South Africa, we would hold a seminar here. We would, uh, we, the, the ambassador was there and he very readily agreed. We would hold an, uh, an, a seminar in South Africa. For us, the land issue is the most open, uh, you know, negotiation we've ever had mm -hmm. in history mm -hmm. um, and um, it's a transparent process and that's the point extreme, you were making extremely right extremely open and transparent extremely uh, accessible to all and uh, if there are any uh, business people um, American business people doing business in South Africa we are open to discuss with them let's talk a bit we'll about put up, we'll put up a, a, a special uh, seminar for them uh, we are very eager to do that because uh, this is a constitutional responsibility it's not just that we wish it to be so. It's a responsibility. Everything that is set out in the Constitution is a responsibility of a particular government to carry through. And we have slowed down over the last 23 years in doing exactly that which we are required by the Constitution to do. 
and uh, we need to make sure that we can pick up pace now, now that the processes have started and concluded. Did they have a view on the changing of the constitution, which is one possibility that the president we has been speaking about? No, I think what the president has been saying is we've got to put it at the back of our mind that uh, we, we are willing and ready to change the constitution. We haven't got to that point. We're still uh, uh, taking um, the views of the people and uh, when, it, when if we feel that the sec section 25 needs to be amended then the ANC has taken a decision. We haven't got to that. So we didn't discuss that matter with, uh, uh, with my counterpart. We just discussed broadly what his uh, views were uh, and uh, what the views he felt of the American investor is, and we are very open to discuss the matter. The United, now, the United States has been on record about countries that don't support their positions at the United Nations. I'm curious to know, given that South Africa and the United States have disagreed on a number of issues at we the do. UN, I mean, we, we what, is, what, what has he asked from you in terms of your, uh, your, your membership of the Security Council beginning on the 1st of January? Now, we have agreed that we're going to discuss the Security Council matters, and uh, he is chairing the Security Council for now. And uh, we've agreed that we'll set aside a time for us to discuss issues uh, on, on the agenda of the Security Council. I have issues, too, that I'd like to put on the agenda, just that now we're not uh, formally a member of the Security Council. But if they can begin to think about what it is that we would like to bring on the table, um, we would be very grateful. Now, we have indicated to him that we're very concerned about the Palestinian issue. Mm -hmm. uh, the Palestinians and ourselves have a, a long historic uh, relationship. We also have a very strong relationship with the Jewish community that is resident in our country. So we are very concerned that we should find a, as soon as possible. And we've been at this for 20 odd years trying to find a solution. And we wouldn't want that uh, uh, one country like the United States would use its power to influence a balance that would not allow the people themselves to get to a decision of their own that, that suits their particular And you're talking situation. about the embassy move? I am talking about the embassy moving and I indicated that uh, we were greatly, uh, we were very unhappy and we withdrew our, our ambassador, uh, he knows that. Uh, our ambassador remains withdrawn because uh, we are objecting to the way that they have gone ahead and unilaterally done what uh, actually should have required a lot of consultation is a very delicate situation we have there and that uh, the movement of the moving the, the embassy did not help at all. So Sisan Gombani, the South African envoy, he, is, he, he, is, he remains withdrawn, he's back in Israel uh, on personal business but the ANC resolution that the embassy be downgraded to a liaison office stands. is going to be implemented. It, is, it stands. Uh, when it will be implemented will of course depend on a number of other issues that we are still engaged with. Uh, I, we indicated to um, uh, my counterpart that we would like to remain engaged with the negotiations around uh, the, the Middle East uh, process because we, th we want to make sure that the Palestinians feel represented. Mm -hmm. I don't know if they feel represented when one party is there. Sisan Gombane is recalled until such time as there is a solution that we feel that uh, takes into account everybody who is concerned and that there are no more killings and there is no more... Uh, suffering of the Palestinian people were very concerned about that. However, when we recalled him, he was in Johannesburg the following day. He didn't know what we were calling him for. We said we wanted to have him at home for consultations. These consultations have gone on for three, three, four months. He probably had his uh, briefcase. He only picked up his briefcase. He has his personal needs. He has his family there. So he's got to sort himself out. Uh, and uh, be ready for any decision that the ANC might take. In 15 seconds, I have to yes. go back to studio. Your assessment of this visit in its totality? In its totality, I think it was an outstanding visit. I think that uh, starting off with the Mandela Summit, it was absolutely outstanding. I pointed out to my counterpart that we missed the voice of President Trump at Mandela Summit. I think it was a missed opportunity uh, because Nelson Mandela is a world icon that nobody could ever undo. And celebrating him in New York the way that every other head of state did uh, made it a bit awkward that we didn't have a representative of uh, the American okay. government there. Madam uh, International Relations Minister, good to see you. Thank you for speaking with us exclusively here on SABC News. You heard it first, yeah, the uh, Minister of International Relations, Linda Wessesula, very happy with what they've achieved uh, during this visit. She is staying through the weekend, her work here not done, and I promise to get you the name of that uh, ambassador designate uh, that will be replacing Patrick Gaspard almost two years into the Trump presidency. We'll be working on that. Stay tuned to SABC News. Back to you in studio.
Thank you very much. Uh, Sherwin Bryce, please uh, talking to uh, our minister in New York, Lindy Wissesu.